welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Colorado Rockies. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starter, Austin Gomber. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like you that, that keep a good tempo, don't give the hitters time to adjust or yeah, think. Yeah. They can move through a ball game, right. and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The lefty fires. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Count one two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Next offering way off the plate. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. McMahon makes a nice running catch. Let's take a look at our lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And, Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, hey. which no one wants to be a part of. David Hamilton, batting with one down, takes the strike. The wind and the pitch. Hey. No ball, two strikes. One out, base is empty. Ah. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike that zone. We're hurt, seeing hurt. more fastballs in that location. Right, Hitters, right. especially oh, with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's hey. Tyler O'Neill. Right through there for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Two out spaces empty. That one lifted to left. Bouchard under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. here at Coors Field and getting the start for the Red Sox Chase Anderson and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know, it's just a matter of luck it's not having a field different between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one you'll want and that one missing low. And downstairs. One strike. Next nope, offering upstairs. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. 
One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Michael Tolia. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he steps in. Ezekiel Tovar stands in now and watches strike one. Simple played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Anderson ready to work. That misses the zone. And one and one. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Missed oh, with a changeup. Two and one. Sliced hard but foul. Left-hand batter waits, really? and that's in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well, and you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. And now it's Elias Diaz. Runner on the goal. Pitching for a strike. Throw to Seaton. And, and that'll end the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in Denver, and here is Devers. Devers bats left, throws right, batting in the cleanup spot, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. As the lefty gets to work. And that one wrapped foul. And One that's down it away. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That <laughs> one not yep. close. Two balls, two strikes. the first half. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. No score here in the second. Clips the corner, and it's one and one. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? And a pitch. And another ball. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report, or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. 
Two down. As the game has moved along, that we see it. more and more right information right. supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. and misses, struck him out. Red Sox go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. So in now for Colorado, Elias Diaz. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a foul ball. And he deals. There's a strike. No ball, two strikes. And the right hander deals. One and ball, ball one. Two strikes. Not even close there. Two and two. Got him swinging. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. First pitch, not close. Down base is empty. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The one one. And a foul ball. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. to kick the pitch swing and a miss struck him out back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we'll see how long he can keep this streak going Brendan Rogers at the plate now that's ball one Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't All chase two. that time. Two balls, no strike. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Aye. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. We got a full count. Out towards left center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. That is the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Dominic Smith. The first base is number two. Dominic Smith. The pitch. Foul ball there. And he'll won. And there's a foul ball.
Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Next up, it's the first-year shortstop, Sidane Rafaela. That one fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Good oh, eye on that spot. And the pitch. Breaking ball inside. Two balls and a strike. The pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice line drive on the whole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Reese McGuire. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. First and second, no outs. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Swing and a miss. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. On the ground to the left. And that's a fair ball. Around third. Here comes the throw. But it's offline. He will score. And it's 1-0. Big RBI for him right there. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. First pitch misses. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And the 1-0. And a swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right oh, by him, slightly right. elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. We'll see if he continues to climb the ladder. The 1-1. One, one. Slap the other way. Foul. The pitch. Line and a base hit into right. Around third. The throw in. And he's in safely at third. As a run scores. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Now, now, Another clutch now. run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now the number two hitter, David Hamilton. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Mm -hmm. 
And now the lefty. Strike one. One and one. McGuire at third. Duran stands at second. No outs. And the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. at second the bat the designated hit by so two in scoring position with one out now it's the power speed combo Tyler O'Neill fly to left his first time One, no strikes. Will chase that time. Two balls, no strikes. One down, runners at second and third. side McMahon He's fires out. over to first and O'Neill is retired now that third base is up the oh. yeah, yeah. now it's Devers at the plate struck out looking at his first at bat just oh, missed guy. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Red Sox two and the Rockies nothing. Back here at Coors here we Field, go. as we go to the last the of the third. Here. Here's Michael Tolio. Here comes a pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One and oh. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The one oh. Inside, oh, just missed. And that one fouled off. That to right. Settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't no quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. That one missed. Ball one, no strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. On the ground to short. Throws across oh. the diamond. And yeah, they get the out. Batting, Batting none. The right, the right fielder. Hunter. 
Two outs, base is empty. And here is Hunter Goodman. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. First good strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Late that time, and it's strike two. Oh, two. That one missed ball. by a lot. Two now strikes. one and two. And well, that's, that's outside. It. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And here it comes. And now the count filled up three and two. See another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Got it by him for the K. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail things here, two nothing. Start of the fourth. Joe stepping in for Boston. Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida. The pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And he drops it down the third baseline. Bare hand grab, gathers and throws. Oh. It's there, and that's a great play. The first base is number two, Dominic Smith. Two outs, base is empty. Dom Smith stands in. Out to short. Sends it to oh. Tolia, and they go down fast. Three outs on three pitches. Nothing doing for Boston, but they're on top two nothing. Ready to go. Leading bottom up. four. The Here's the Rockies, Rockies leadoff hitter, the Charlie leader. Blackman. Charlie Blackman. Blackman. The pitch. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. In there at the knees for a strike. Caught him looking for the K. Well, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. The yeah, shortstop well, takes the ball. And a pitch. Fouled off down the right side. Kicks and deals. And oh, another ball. Hard. The Rockies trailing by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In there for a strike at the top of the zone.
And it skips in the dirt. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two the balls and no strikes, but right. now at least he gets a fresh start right. against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. McMahon batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Just off the inside edge. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a the ball. Throw to second, and he's out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. chase that time first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count this one in the air on the move corrals it and that's the inning offense held a check there we played four it's the Red Sox two and the Rockies nothing Back here in Denver. Now it's the shortstop, Sedane Rafaela. Rafaela goes five feet nine inches, 23 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. And he takes a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Bouchard makes the grab one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Reese McGuire up next for the Red Sox. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. Did not go. One down. Base is empty. Swings through that. I got a ball. One strike. Misses outside. Now two balls and a strike. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That one misses. Ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The wind and the pitch. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Okay. Red Sox leading it by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Doyle under it. Two away down. Up next to the Red Sox. The center field. And now Jaron Duran. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Next nope. pitch is outside. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, two strikes. Right side. Goodman drops steps, heads back on it. Makes the catch in and goal. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chambi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Elias Diaz.
Anderson back to work. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Nick Pavetta appears to be getting loose. Horn, the lefty, warming up as well. And the righty deals. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And that one nope. off the inside oh, edge. You walked him. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight Lady pitches off. and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see no, if the next guy good. waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Oh. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. Chase Anderson gives way and a nice effort out of him no doubt new arm coming on we'll be back for that in a moment a new arm into the game the righty Nick Pavetta still pretty early in the ball game so this bullpen has some work ahead of him best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him next to hit Brenton Doyle struck out swinging his first time you talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That one is upstairs. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that may end up being in a bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Right-handed reliever. Little drive, that's a base hit. Runner around third. He scores, and they trail by one. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So, runners at the corners. Nobody out. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Michael Tolia. And fouled off. <laughs> Tying run in scoring position. Last half of inning number five. Way high there. And the count is one and one. Inside just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Yoshida sizing this one up. He's got it. Runner tags for home. He'll score in the sack fly. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Now, and Let's now, move. Sean Bouchard Go. rounded out his first job. Bounce to the right side. 
Slings to second. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Five innings complete. We are tied 2-2. We go to the top half of inning number six. And now David Hamilton. The wind of the pitch. And a strike in there. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed, you know. Getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Up the middle. Nice grab. On the run. Sends it over to first. On the money. Nice play. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Now, Tyler O'Neill. Right through there for a strike. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. And here is Devers. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. That one pulled foul. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're the top half of the sixth. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Oh, Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. Snap throw to first. O'Neal back in on the dive. Man at first, one away. Going two now. Bows it back with two strikes. The belt and fires. Good job to fight that one off. Oh. Check swing. He held up. One and two to count. Gosh, Boog. I think he's trying to deke the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. To first, maybe a two ball. There's one. Out. Back to first. Right. Double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2-2. Two, two. And we're back. We Bottom go. of the sixth we inning. Run. And now the right fielder, right Hunter field. Goodman. Goodman. As he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. Off the plate, ball one. Misses outside. Ball one. And a foul ball.
Now check swing at the 1 1. Looked down to first, and he went around. Ruled a swing. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 1 2. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now here's Charlie Blackman. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. That one at 95 missed up top. And that's ball one. There's a strike. This is inside, and it's two and one. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Ground ball right side. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that quickly two away. Now, that's your stop. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. That one off the mark, ball one. That's a little bit low. Down the line, Abreu. Long run on his horse. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. Two outs. In the air, right field. Abreu has a beat on it. And that is that. Six innings behind us. All square at two and two. Field. New inning getting started. Leading off, Masataka Yoshida. And he deals. That's a slider for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Tie block. The left hander up and throwing. Quantrill getting loose as well. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Hit the air, left field. Bouchard settles underneath it, makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Now, that, the right fielder, Will now it's the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Fought off foul. Bases empty, one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Lefty fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Dominic Smith, the next to hit. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Hey. Big swing and a miss. One the it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So they go quietly there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. We are tied 2-2.
So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Greg Weiser. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. When you talk about a neat defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Left hand hitter waits. Missed with a changeup and a count one and two. So, what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Oh, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. The one, two. Just nope, misses with that one. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also can swing the stick. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. Ripped on a line. One away. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go ahead run. He just wasn't able to oh, find yeah, a yeah. Diaz. And now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. And that one's a little bit low. And that is ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Josh Winkowski, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. The 1 0. On the ground, right side, Hamilton. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. Now, center fielder, Brenton. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. One for two. Out towards right center field on his way over. He's got it. And that is the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Eighth inning coming up. We are tied 2-2. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tie block. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Looks like a pinch hitter for the Red Sox, Rob Refsnyder. He represents the go-ahead run. As the lefty gets to work, that's in there. Strike one. And it skips in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, there's a ball. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. I think he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So now a pitch hitter for the catcher, Connor Wong. And this is a big at bat coming, boo. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. That misses, and that's ball one.
just missed. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Ryan Feltner, the young right hander, up and throwing. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. In there at the knees. Now two balls and a strike. And it's strike two. The pitch. On the ground to third. Jump throw. And it beats him. What a play. That right there is exactly why he's one of the elite third basemen in the game. Great release and strong throw to get a guy with lots of speed going up the line. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Block, 33 years old, and he's playing today in his home state of Colorado. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. Two outs. Bounce to the right. Tolia takes it to the bag. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Staying in the game on defense, Connor Wong. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also into the ball game, Romy Gonzalez. He's in at shortstop. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. The second base. Weiser back to work. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Inside corner for a strike. And a count even at one. And another ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. One up, one down. Now that, the first baseman, Michael. And now the first baseman, Michael Tolia. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no fight. Fouled off. He was late. Bases empty one away. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Way outside, and the count is two and two. Three. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Now, got Sean Let's Bouchard play. will hit next. Bouchard. And a swing and a miss there. All in one. That one backed up the middle and it gets through. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base. Pitch hitter coming on, Jacob Stone. The runner on first and two going for him. Go ahead. through there for a strike.
two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. The one ball is outside and it's a ball and a strike. Runner on the go. And that one fouled off. Here's a one two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Now so coming right into right. the game now on defense, Jake Payne. Jake he Payne. takes over and right. Payne. And stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. The second base. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And he takes one right on the black. One one. One one's Good one eye in that spot. Trying to bunt his way on. Fires to first. Got him as he tried to bunt his way aboard. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. And now here is Tyler O'Neill. One for three. In the dirt. One and oh. There's a strike at the knees. Close one doesn't get the call, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Down the line, and it's foul. On the ground to third. McMahon fires over to first, and O'Neill is retired. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Rafael Devers. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike oh, to the left-handed hitter. Gets under it and pops it up. And Devers is set down. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go to Red Sox. Score remains 2-2. Two, two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Bailey Horn. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never want an opposing team did that to me. The designated hitter. Go The pitch. Blackman, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Josh Winkowski, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball two. And that's down to the way. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And he walked him off four pitches. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and right the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. No outs. Runner at first. Ezekiel Tovar now at the plate.
And that one fouled off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing as a player, you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Hook gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Throw comes in quickly, and the winning run at third now with only one gone. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still That's hit hard enough. enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Winning run at third, one down. Hey. And that drops in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Base hit, that'll do it. Throw is up run. This one's over. And the Rockies knock it off and win it 3-2. Well, coming to the ninth inning, it's a tied ball game. No one really wants to play extra, so everyone's looking at how we can get this game over with in regulation. Well, they got the run they needed, put one up, and they put one in the win column. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.